Hey, I'm Richard. Uh, I want someone that's anatomically female. You know, two eyes, no missing appendages, the usual. Uh, I've been told that I have the world's coolest collection of t-shirts. I'm also a bit of a chocolate pudding connoisseur. Not that anyone would know that. Uh, let's see, I wouldn't say that I'm a rebel or anything, but sometimes I go to the 10 items or less line with 11 items. Oh yeah. Oh, I can also speak three languages. I can speak English, although you probably already knew that. I can speak Spanish, for example, El gato no tiene pantalones. That means I love you in Spanish. I can also speak Italian. Let's see. Uh, le uniche parole che conosco no sono pizza, ravioli, and lasagna. That means I love pizza, ravioli, and lasagna. So you know, ladies, get at me. Hey ladies, it's your boy Jonathan. And I'm here today to tell you what kind of a woman I am looking for. You see, I consider myself pretty high maintenance, so I need a girl who can keep up with that. What do I mean by high maintenance, you may ask? Well, I've never done laundry a single day in my life. I don't know how to do it. My mom always does it for me. So, if you want to be my girlfriend, you gotta share the load, you know what I mean? Anyways, I play a lot of video games, and by a lot, I mean a ton. Um, I like Call of Duty, Halo, and World of Warcraft. So whether, you know, I'm stopping terrorists, or killing aliens, or even slaying dragons, I get really hungry, especially when I play 12 to 18 hours a day, straight. So uh, I need a girlfriend that's willing to make me sandwiches on regular intervals. And oh, uh, just know in general, like, my games are more important than you. Sorry, just gotta be honest. Um, so if you're still interested, hit me up. Hey guys, um, I'm Alyssa. I'm 21 and young. Woo woo! Ready to party. So I'm not really ready to date much, but I guess if I have to. Um, I usually date people in reality, so yeah, this is a little weird. But if I had to say something, I guess I'd say that I need to find someone that's funny and intelligent, like actually has intelligence. Um, I've been a little obsessed with Halo for the past one or two weeks, kind of obsessively playing it, so if you like to play it, you're the guy for me. I'm a huge lover of animals, so I have a dog, I have a puppy, he's 10 months right now. But um, if you are going to date me, you kind of have to love him too, because he's pretty much my son, so stuck with him. Um, as much as I, I'm not into this whole dating thing, um, still really looking for somebody to pop out because I need to find some new people because uh, I don't know about you, but this dating thing isn't working out over here in LA. So um, there's some crazy people out here. So if you're crazy, you're not going to work out. I'm sorry. You're just cut from it. Alright guys, so if all of those things that I said seem to click with you and sound like you and you happen to have a bag of pistachios and two million dollars in your bank account, then we're perfect for each other. Come and find me. Bye guys. Hi, I'm Carla, and um, what kind of guy am I looking for? Well, first, he has to be at least 6'1", because I'm pretty tall, and I like to wear heels, so he definitely has to be tall. He has to be smart, funny, kind, speak Spanish, he also has to know how to make me laugh. He can't be a follower, because I hate followers, he has to be a leader. Well, the only person he can follow is me, but um, he can't be, you know, a follower completely. I hate jerks. I hate mean people in general, so he has to be really kind. And he has to love Disneyland because I like go there every weekend. And, no I don't, but maybe he can buy me my annual pass and then we can go every day. It's gonna be so much fun. I can just picture it in my head. And he has to love Harry Potter. He has to be a Hufflepuff or a Gryffindor because like I said, I like leaders, not followers. He definitely has to be my best friend. I have to be able to trust him. And if he breaks my trust, I'll break his arm.